Are you? Yeah, I'm at her apartment right now. We're just going to watch a movie. It's nothing. Relax. Well, are you interested in her? Well, I don't really know her well enough yet. Yet? Well, that's not what I meant. Welcome back, everyone. As we all can see, we have a new face with us tonight. Ever been to a meeting before? That's all right, let me tell you how it works. We're gonna go around the table here and each member's gonna share their personal story. Don't worry, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Uh, everything that's said here stays here. We're all here for the same reasons you are. You know, there's no judgment. Lord, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, courage to change the things we can, and wisdom to know the difference. Amen. Would anyone like to start us off? Yeah, I will. Hello, my name's Jonathan. I am an alcoholic and a drug addict. Hello, Hello Jonathan. Jonathan. When I was younger, uh, well, uh, my mother did things no one ever spoke of. I started drinking, smoking. Yeah, <laughs> you know, tried just about everything. Um, attempted suicide a handful of times, even, you know, obviously never successful. But, uh,. Wouldn't eat, you know. That would <laughs> ruin the buzz I'd worked so hard to get all day. But, uh, was court ordered to come here. Didn't think anything of it, you know. Just wanted to go back to the way I was. I considered it a slap on the wrist. But, uh, I kept coming and looking around families and lives torn apart. And hell, <laughs> I was a reckless kid. Ending my life before it even began. It freaked me out at first, though. You know, like everyone else <laughs> coming here. All these weirdos nodding and smiling <laughs> and telling me, thank you, Jonathan when all I did was say pass. But eventually, that grace and kindness, it gets to you and it breaks your walls down. You know, <laughs> it's impossible to be made of stone when someone's smiling at you. So yeah, I, I kept coming, I kept coming. And uh, you know, I've, I've been sober for quite a few 24 hours now. I don't hate myself, which is a good thing, you know. Life, life has, well, it matters to me now. Not that I'm anywhere near recovered, <laughs> but, you know, I don't think that's a possibility. I think, I think we'll always be in the state of recovering. Yeah. Um, thank you. Thank, thank you, Jonathan. Thanks, Jonathan. Keith, alcoholic. Friends and family shun me away. Just because we do bad things 
doesn't mean we're bad people. My girlfriend drinks. She knows I hate it, but she does it anyway. It's just something I can't handle. I never really could. Hanging out with different people. It's about changing your life. Hell, I can't even use hand sanitizer anymore. All I smell is the alcohol. People don't get it. I see kids updating statuses about hangovers so bad they'll never drink again. They have no idea what that vow means. How many times I've said it to myself. They look down on me like I don't have control. They don't know what control is. Drinking a fifth of whiskey in under an hour, and then not pulling the trigger on the handgun. That's control. It's like you're hanging on by a single thread. And every day, you put a razor to it. It might break. You hope it doesn't. It hasn't yet. You have this feeling that someday, eventually, it will. Would you like to share anything with us? Hi, I'm Lilith. I'm an alcoholic. I, uh, I have. It's a hard one. Something triggers it. Someone lets you down. You feel lost, empty, useless. We pretend we don't need anybody, but we do. It's who you surround yourself with that makes the difference. Back then, at rock bottom, I was updating status after status, expressing my sadness. 500 friends online, not a single one reached out to me. No calls, no texts, no emails. People are scared to be vulnerable. 500 people saw I was upset and they scrolled down to look at pictures of misquoted celebrities or furry animals with clever captions. <laughs> so I found 500 new friends. Ones that will be there for me. I'm here for you. Okay? You can vent to me all you want, and I'll just listen. I'm not gonna fuck you. <laughs> I have a habit of putting myself in the friend zone within 10 minutes of meeting people. So you're good. What are you gonna do?
make bad decisions. Why? It only works temporarily. The point is, you know, days from now, weeks, months, you're gonna look back on this moment, this moment right now, and you'll think, how the hell did I get out of this? This impossible time in my life. How did it not break me? And you'll want the answer to be that you found the courage on your own. Lilith. That you clawed through it with your own strength. Thanks.